love. What up, guys? This is Chivo Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Whiskey Mafia Frank's Story. This game was published by Chili Dog Interactive and it was developed by Fast Game. This game will be releasing on August 13th, 2021. It's currently up for pre order and it's only $5.99. On top of that, it's an easy 30 minute completion or platinum trophy. Now I'd say about 75% of the time Chili Dog Interactive puts a cheat code in their game in an effort to make the achievements easier, however this time, this game does not have a cheat. However it's still a really easy completion, it only takes about 28 to 30 minutes. Now at first you're going to start off at the post office and you just need to interact with each of the items in the post office. After you interact with every item in the post office, it's going to advance and it's going to unlock your first achievement called I had one job for exiting the post office and collecting all of the deliveries. Now, once you collect the deliveries from the post office, you start a mini game where you have to deliver the mail. In this game, you're like half gangster, half postman, and then you even are a bartender at one point in time. So you have a lot of jobs, a lot of faces. Now. When you're the postman and you're delivering mail, what you want to do is press X to pop up your deliveries. Um, and basically what you need to do is go to each door that you have on your delivery schedule and deliver their mail. For instance, I had mail to deliver for house number three. So I went up to the door that had the house that had the number three on it and I interacted with it and I delivered their mail. And you need to do that for all of the different house numbers on your to-do list. The good thing is, is that they are in order, so you're going to find the lower number all the way on the left and the higher number all the way on the right. So I kind of just look at my list, see the lower numbers, I start off on the left and just start, you know, delivering all the mail as I walk down to the right. So I start off with the lower house numbers and then, you know, the highest house number on your list is going to be your last delivery. And it's really as simple as that. Uh, basically, this is a game where you have a lot of dialogue and you're just kind of, you know, skipping through the dialogue. For the most part, it's a really linear game, just with some mini games, and you just need to understand how the mini games work to be able to get your gamer score or platinum trophy quickly. And this is how the Postman mini game works. You look at your to-do list and you deliver all of your mail to the appropriate houses, and once you have all of the houses uh, crossed off on your list, you've done your job for the day. Aside from that, sometimes you'll run into some citizens and they'll try to talk to you, things like that, and you'll just skip through the dialogue. Uh, typically, once dialogue pops up, I was just button mashing the A button to try to get through it as quick as possible. There's no fast forward button or anything like that, so if you're trying to get it done quickly, uh, go ahead and just mash the A button, or if you're playing on PlayStation, the X button, and uh, if you you know want to get the most out of your money, go ahead and read the dialogue. Um, however, that is going to make it a much longer completion. And let's see, there's 51. I only have two houses left. 57 and 65. Here's 57 and 65 will be further to the right. Again, the numbers are in order. So we have 65 right here. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through the dialogue by mashing the A button. And after the dialogue, that postman minigame will end, or at least that shift. Okay, now we're in another area where we're just uh, pretty much fast forwarding through the dialogue, again, mashing the A button. You should unlock an achievement for completing all of your deliveries um, in your first day as the postman. And from here, we're just going to skip through all of the dialogue using the A button until we start our next mini game. Alright, so now it's time for our second day as the postman. So once you finish the dialogue, we're going to interact with all of the items in the post office once again, basically collecting all of the deliveries for the day. And then it's going to exit back to the town in which we're going to rinse and repeat the process that we completed last time. You're going to check your to-do list by pressing the X button, go all the way to the left and deliver to the lowest number house on your list and then advancing to the right, delivering to all of the houses on your list until you deliver to the highest number house on your list in which you'll complete your second Postman minigame.
All right, so we should be unlocking our next achievement. This is our next postman achievement called Casual Postman worth 50 gamer score for delivering all of the mail for your second day as a postman. After that, we're going to skip through all of the dialogue once again and just keep skipping. Now you're going to end up back in the city, but you're not going to be the postman anymore. You're going to be your regular self and we're going to continue to the right hand side. We're going to have to walk past these garages for a while. I think it's like the third or fourth garage. It's the second one with the car in it. So past that one, you're going to pass another garage with the barrel in it and just keep going down. And there we go. The second car right there peeking out of the garage. You're going to talk to the guy right in front of that garage. After you get through that dialogue, you should unlock your next achievement or trophy for Giuseppe Bruno, for finding Giuseppe Bruno. After that, we're going to end up back as the postman once again, pop up your to-do list, and we're going to deliver all of the mail for the third time. Alright, so we should be unlocking our next achievement related to being a postman. This is the season postman achievement worth 70 gamer score for delivering all of the mail for the third time. Now after you fast forward through the dialogue enough, you're going to end up unlocking another achievement called Mail Robbery worth 100 gamer score for robbing your post office. Okay guys, so I believe this is the final day as the mailman. All we need to do is deliver to all of the houses on our to-do list as usual. So I'm going to go ahead and jump back into the commentary after we're done.
All right, so we should be unlocking our final postman achievement. It's worth 100 gamer score called Senior Postman for delivering all of the mail for the fourth time. And we're just going to continue to skip through all of the dialogue. Okay, so now we've gotten to a point in the game where we're a bartender and we're going to have to play this bartender mini game. Now people are going to be constantly walking to the bar. They're either going to sit at the bar or in a booth. Once they sit down, they're going to have a drink above their head for a limited time. You have to serve their drink before the time expires. Now it's not as simple as that. Eventually you're going to run out of drinks. You can see how many drinks you have left on the lower left hand corner. You have beers, wine, and whiskey and they're either going to ask for one of the three uh, drinks that you have available and eventually you will run out of either wine whiskey or beer and to purchase more what you need to do is pop up the menu on the lower right hand corner i believe you press the little icon on the lower right hand corner of the screen you have to press it with the arrow um, you don't press any specific button to pop it up but it's basically a menu where you're able to purchase more drinks so i typically purchase five of each drink or 10 of each drink and that you know gets me by for a while and typically I'll have to do this two or three times uh, during a shift so you have to make sure that you're serving all of the different people that are asking for drinks not only that but purchasing more beer more wine more whiskey so that you can be able to have enough drinks to serve all of your customers and that's basically the mini game just make sure that you're keeping up with buying uh, you know alcohol to sell and then making sure that you're serving the alcohol and that's about it. We're going to have to uh, play this mini game a couple times. So yeah, I just wanted to explain how it works and what to do real quick because at first I was serving all of the people but I didn't know how to purchase more drinks and I was running into a situation where I was running out of alcohol to sell and then I ended up you know, losing the level and to complete the level you have to be able to uh, purchase more alcohol otherwise you will run out. So that's how you complete this mini game. We're gonna have to play it a couple times more than anything, I just wanted to explain how it works. That way you guys can get through all of the bartender shifts. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and cut the commentary right here. And I'll dive back in when there's more explaining to do.
All right, now eventually at the end of your shift, the phone is going to ring and you're going to have to answer the phone. Don't worry about the customers that are still in the bar. Uh, just answer the phone once it starts ringing. That's how you end the level. After that, you're just going to skip through the dialogue using A or X on PlayStation. After our bartender shift, we're going to end up in our first fight. So you're just going to have to defend yourself. I believe you can use like A and B. Uh, there's definitely two different attack buttons. I don't remember which ones they are specifically. But you have like a straight jab and then you also have an uppercut. The jab tends to be more effective. The uppercut didn't seem to do too much more damage or anything like that. So I was typically just spamming the jab button. Now, after you get to your truck, you're going to end up back in the bar and you're going to be talking uh, with a friend and you're going to unlock an achievement for stealing the booze truck for the first time. And we're going to continue to just skip through the dialogue. After that, you're going to end up getting jumped and you're going to have to defend yourself in which we're going to end up in some more uh, dialogue and then we're going to end up bartending.
All right, now the phone's going to ring once again. Make sure to answer the phone, and that's going to end our second bartending shift. After this, we're going to end up at the fight club in which you're going to advance through all of the dialogue and you're going to end up fighting. You're going to have to defeat a couple guys in the fight club. So defeat the first one, then the second one. Advance through the uh, dialogue and go in and defeat a couple more opponents. There we go, proving ourselves at the fight club. Got another one. All right. And I think this is the last guy right here. There we go. And after this, you should unlock your next achievement or trophy. This one's going to be worth 100 gamer score called the first rule of fight club. And that's for participating in an illegal fight club. Alright, so once the guy walks inside, we're going to end up getting jumped again, and we're just going to have to defend ourselves, so defeat your opponents real quick, and that'll move us to the next part of the game. Alright, so after you defeat those enemies, we're going to end up in another bartender shift. You guys know the drill, just make sure you guys serve all of the customers until the phone rings. Now, as usual, once the phone rings, you want to interact with the phone. And you're going to answer it, and we're going to move on to the next part of the game. We're going to end up back into the city, and you guess it, we're going to have to defeat all of our enemies once again. So just proceed to the right-hand side, meanwhile defeating all of the enemies. Alright guys, so if you made it all the way to the booze truck for the second time, you should be unlocking your final achievement called Party Never Stops worth 130 gamer score for stealing the booze truck for the second time. I'm just going to verify I got the full 1000, let's see. Yep, 1000 gamer score out of 1000 gamer score. As always, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 16 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including TimG84, AOJ, Kegger 101, Kana 25, Michael Banksa, and Purple Rain 6. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.